traffic rules of square dancing. If you are playing the part of the gent, I want you to stand to the left of your partner. If you are playing the part of the lady, I want you to stand to the right. If you are two men or two women together, then you're just going to have to choose which side you're playing. Or, if you and your partner, even if you're a man and a woman, you want to switch it up, that's okay, as long as you know which part you're playing. So the gent stands on the left, the lady stands on the right. And in your square, the person who's standing next to you who is not your partner is your corner. Turn and say hello to your corner. And now, each couple in the square has a number. If you have your backs to the music, you're couple number one. This gentleman was ready with it. Couple number one, raise your hand. I want to see that you know who you are. All right, couple number two, you have your backs to the bar. All right, couple number three, you're facing the stage. You have the best view in the house. Very nice. Couple number four, you are facing the bar. Which may, I don't know, maybe that's the best view in the house for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So couples number one and three, you are called head couples. And couples number two and four, you are called side couples. And I want the head couples to go forward and back, just like they did in the, in the last dance. Four steps in and four steps back. And then I want you to go up again and make an arch with the person in front of you. And now we've got this nice little tunnel going on. And I want the ladies on the side couples to go through that tunnel and pass each other by and end up on the other side. And now that they're on the other side, two things are going to happen at once. The, that lady is going to swing that new gent on the side, so you can do that now. And then at the same time that this is going on, although I'll have you pause now when you finish swinging, but really these two things are going to happen at the same time, the two couples who are putting their arches up in the middle are going to pretend that they're connected in a tunnel that is rigid, and they're going to rotate 180 degrees. Like, I see a lot of couples are doing it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you're all going the same direction. And then you go 180, so halfway around, and then those two side ladies are going to go back through that tunnel and onto the other side. And they're going to swing their partner, and the tunnel is going to rotate back home. So keep going, so you finish that rotation, and then everybody swings their partner at home. All right. Here's a golden opportunity for me to tell you the magic words of square dancing. The magic words of square dancing are go back home and swing your own. Because it doesn't matter how mixed up you get, and if you get all your moves wrong, and your partner's on the other side of the floor from you, and everything seems lost, when I say go back home and swing your own, you go back home and swing your partner, and then everything starts all over again, and you get a whole other chance to try it out. So always keep that in mind. The other thing to remember is that square dancing is about having a good time. So enjoy yourself while you're out there on the floor. That's the most important part. All right, I think we're ready to do it. So this is the tune called the 9th of January, which is maybe not exactly true. No, it's true. They just named it the 9th of January. Are you going to write here?